guys and welcome back to my channel sunflowers and moonbeams it's brandy and uh today i oh, please excuse my nails one of them came off and i haven't had time to fix it and um i just got some happy mail and i couldn't wait to do my nails to do this video because i really want to look at it and I wanted to film it. It is one of my Kickstarters that I backed um, several months back and it has finally arrived and I'm so excited. So um, I, I was actually expecting several things in the mail so I wasn't sure which one this was. Um, so I did take it out of its outer packaging but left it in its bubble wrap. So let's just get into it, shall we? Um, this is a Kickstarter that I fell in love with from the second I saw it, immediately backed it, have been super excited to get it. The Elemental Empath Oracle by Miyuki Rose. I am sorry if I said that incorrectly and it is a self-love oracle deck for empathic women. I absolutely adore the artwork on this. I love the theme behind it. All of it. Love, love, love. Can't wait to dig into this and finally take a look at the cards in person. All right. Oh my gosh, y'all. This box. Oh, this box is divine. It's really nice. Really, really nice. It feels almost rose petally kind of. Oh, lovely. Lovely, lovely. I love a magnetic box. Holy cow, y'all. <laughs> Look what a chunker this guidebook is. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. I'm so excited. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Let's see. Try not to break a nail or damage a card. Okay. All right. Okay. So here are the backs. Lovely gold gilding. All right, so we have a meditation card. Oh man, I'm so excited for this. One of the things that drew me to this deck, other than it being um, like a, a feminine energy deck, which I adore, um, it's very body positive and there's all different kinds of body types and ages and skin types and everything in this deck and it's it's got like the elements so there's earth air fire water and i think spirit too so let's get right in here this is looks like we're starting with earth grounding calm the mind connect to body mindfulness and nature oh, oh i love this Moon, honor phases, respect where you are, self-care, and sync with cycles. And I love how the picture of her rising up to kind of touch the moon, it's like she's going through phases too, just kind of like mirroring the moon going through its phases. Sky, expansion, befriend mind, inner freedom, expand consciousness. Oh, they're gorgeous. <laughs> I don't know what kind of cardstock this is. It's, it's thinnish, it's on the thin side, like very pliable. I bet this will be easy to shuffle. Let's see, I love this the galaxy behind her star divine inner divine deities guidance clarity protection sun shine 
Light, passion, illumination, motivation, don't dim. Look how powerful she looks. She looks very confident. Abundance, your true nature, gratitude, commitment to goals. Oh, she's beautiful. I love this. Oh my gosh. Creatrix, express emotions, birth your creations, womb energy, breastfeeding her baby. I freaking adore this. Raise vibration, connect to light, release blocks, strength safety okay hold on do all these have 10 okay so these all have like the same number like they all say 10 and then these ones all say one hmm we're gonna have to look in the guidebook and see what that's all about but that's neat okay let's see did I, did I say this one? Raise vibration, connect to light, release blocks, strengthen, and safety. Oh, I like this. Stillness, calm the mind, overthinking, observe, and awareness. True self, connect to soul, heed inner guidance, purify energy. Ah, uh, adore. Divine timing, trust the universe, follow the flow patience and signs. I love this so much. Integrated woman, self-acceptance, integrate lessons, grounded healing. See now this one says 11, but then this one says 12. I wonder what this number system is all about. And now we're going from 12 to two. What? <laughs> okay. Balance. I like the duality here. All is connected, balance extremes, inner and outer. Choice, life direction, how you respond and consequences. Oh, oh she's gorgeous. And I love the moon. I am so curious to see what that chunky monkey guidebook says. Desire, heart's true desire, gratitude, address inner blocks. Aw, inner child, oh I love this. Play, laugh, be silly, heal child wounds. So we're still at, at the two number right now. Intimacy, connect, discover, and voice needs, explore and heal. I love that, how she's just laying in the water Awareness, key to healing, notice patterns and illusions, and pause. And it has like the symbols up here too. So I think this, what is this? Air maybe? Yeah. Oh, oh, I like how the, what is that, a lioness is like drawn in around her. Hope, trust, faith, heal, the past, hope versus expectation. All right, so we're in the threes now. Intuition. Hmm. Intuition versus fear, connect to soul, trust, self, and source. I love it. Reclaim your body. Yes. Yes. I love decks like this where it's body positivity and you're just loving yourself. And to have a reclaim your body, body is home, self-love, release emotions from your body. I love that. I love that so much. It's like she's wrapping herself in self-love. Ugh. Sensitivity, validate self, vulnerability is strength, and projections. All right, so now we're in the number four. Empath, connect to self, cleanse boundaries, and hold space. 
I love this expression card. She is just letting it all out. She's just getting out all those emotions. Yes. I love the fiery energy in this card. Expression, find voice, bottled up emotions, communicate. I feel like I'm going to get some really powerful readings with this, y'all. Like, seriously. Honor the journey. Don't rush. Experience life. Respect others. Allow messes. Ugh. Gorgeous. Perspective. Evaluate beliefs. Bird's eye view. Observe your reactions. Self-love, self-acceptance, self-care, compassion, and vulnerability. Yes, look how happy she is. And all these beautiful tattoos that she's showing off. I love it. Death and rebirth. Yes, got the phoenix rising. Transformation, new self or cycle, and release resistance. Oh, dear. Okay, she looks really sad. Feel emotions. Oh, we're in number five now, by the way. Um, understand emotions. Inner guidance. Validate self. Oh, wow. Oh, that's intense. Growth. She's covered in mud. Surrender to the process. Simplify your healing and layers. Wow. Inner darkness, hold safe space, knowing patterns, release versus feed. Okay, repeating patterns, awareness, what is the lesson, break the cycle. So up here, she's, she's like fading, and then she comes more and more clear and solid, and then she gets the crown and the symbols and all that. That's interesting. Cleanse and release. Clear blocks. Listen to your system. Let energy flow. I love it. All right, now we have, okay, so we're in the sixes. Courage, inner strength, action, trust self, and types of bravery. Ooh, ego illusions. Look at that. Don't believe thoughts. Inner stories. Befriend ego. Hmm. Mirror. World is a mirror. Notice patterns. Clear blocks. Relating. Comparison. Others' projections. Self-reliance. Boundaries. I really love this one. Reclaim your space. Inner, outer, and energetic boundaries. I love this. How she's like putting up a shield. Like an energetic shield around herself. And protecting her heart space. And her, her mind. I love that. She's all in her power there with her boundary setting. Fabulous. Compassion. For self and others. Soften heart. Be gentle. See the good. Incredible. And I love how it's not, it's not just like drawn images, although it does have, you know, drawn art in there. It's, it's real women. It's real women in their real bodies. And I love that so much. Inner authority. Trust yourself. Listen to true self. Trauma versus guidance. Look how she's so in, her, in control and she's so powerful owning it Ugh. pause respond versus react observe thoughts mindfulness I love this one too ooh reclaim power okay so we're in seven now have been for a minute apparently Okay, um, willpower, inner strength, self-mastery, and heal victim. Oh, that's going to be a very powerful card for sure. Oh, I love this. Breath. Return to breath. Calm the mind. Breath is life. Oh, I love this one. 
It's upside down though, for some reason. Okay, community, connect with others. Number eight, um, support and give and receive and angels. I love this. Look at this sense of sisterhood and camaraderie and they're just all supporting each other. I love it. Oh, she's a mermaid. Y'all, she's a mermaid. Manifest magic. Weave your magic, miracles, understand manifestation. Yes. Oh, another one. <laughs> oh, that makes sense. Maybe not for this one, but this one's water suit. Okay. Surrender and flow. Ride the waves. Tap into flow state. Let go. <laughs> oh, I like it. She's being silly. Unapologetic. Be yourself. Release societal expectations. Be a mess. I love this card. Yes. Yes. Feel free to be silly. Who cares? You shouldn't care who cares. Okay. Confidence. Take up space. Love yourself. Be you. You are worthy. Letting go. Okay, so we're in the nines. Timing forgive self and others and process emotions. I like how the energy is coming from her heart space and her mind. It's like she's releasing all that hurt and all those negative thoughts. I love it. Okay, mindset. Create reality, work with subconscious, befriend mind. I love this. I love this one. Rest, slow down, connect to nature, calm your system. I like anything with trees like this. I love it. And this one's our last one. The collective, all is connected. Collective growth, supported. Love, 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 love. Okay, so it's, everything I wanted and more. I, I can't wait to use this. Let's see how she shuffles. Oh my God. Y'all. This deck is, look, look at this. Like the cardstock is so thin, but I know a lot of people will have a problem with it because I feel like it would be very easily bent. But I honestly prefer a thinner cardstock to a thicker one because I prefer to riffle and bridge when it comes to shuffling. And this is probably the easiest, hands down, the easiest deck I have ever shuffled. <laughs> I mean, look how much Look, look how much give in this deck. I mean, it is the easiest deck I've ever shuffled. And this is one of those I would just sit and shuffle just for the hell of it, just because it's fun. It's easy, and I like that. All right. And, of course, it hand over hands very well. All right. Let's see. I am... I can't believe... This is the thickest... Oh, how many pages is in it? Oh my gosh, 273 pages. Wow, that's a lot. All right, let's take a look at it. So we have introduction, special thanks, disclaimer, deck structure, how to use this deck, meditation guide, connect to your inner light about the creator and rose, rose soul art. Okay, and then we have our category. So there's earth and then it goes over the cards and then water and it goes over the cards fire, same thing, air, same thing. Okay, so the stars that I wasn't sure about is not spirit, it's cosmos. Okay, well that makes sense with the stars and everything. All right, so we have introduction, special thanks, disclaimer, deck structure. Okay, so this deck is made up of 52 cards plus a bonus elemental card to encourage you to connect with the energy of the elements. The 52 cards are split up into five elemental sections, starting with earth, then water, fire, and air, and finally moving up to the cosmos. 
Each element is associated with a celestial aspect of our universe, earth, moon, sun, sky, and stars, as well as a part of our being, body, emotions, power, mind, and spirit. The first card of each element represents its associated celestial aspect as well as the core concept that is carried throughout the rest of the elemental suit. Earth is associated with the planet Earth and your body. The main theme is grounding. The Earth suit deals with matters of physical reality, your body relating to others and connecting with this world. Water is associated with the moon and our emotions. The main theme is honor your phases. The water suit teaches you about your emotions, sensitivity, creativity, and energetic release. Fire is associated with the sun and our power. The main theme is shine. The fire suit shows you how to reclaim your power, how to connect with and embody your true self. Air is associated with the sky and our mind. The main theme is expansion. The air suit deals with befriending your mind, expanding your awareness and consciousness, and releasing limiting beliefs. And cosmos is associated with the stars and our spirit. The main theme is the divine. The cosmos suit deals with understanding our interconnected nature, how our energy and patterns work, and how to tap into our empathic and manifestation abilities. Okay. So it tells you how to use it, connect, cleanse, intuition, interpreting, all that good stuff, choosing cards, and then spreads. Okay, so it has a self-love spread. And then it looks to be an inner and outer landscape spread and a balance spread. Um, I think that's it. Meditation guide, connect to your inner light. And then we have about the creator. And then about her brand, Rose Soul Art. And there's her website information if you want to pay her a visit. All right, so earth and body and reality. Okay, so not only does it have the symbol up here, it also has like a miniature color version of the card, which is nice. Earth grounding, and it says, what is grounding? Oh, wow. Okay, so we have multiple pages on it. Okay. And then it says, calm the nervous system, nature and our bodies, from the earth to the divine. Good grief. Structure and stability, hierarchy of needs, potential blocks. And an exercise. Oh my gosh, that's, that's how many pages for one card. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five, like six and like a little bit pages for one card. Holy moly. Is it like that for all of them? Okay, so it's, 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 um, not like that for all of them, but it does give you more than I would expect. So like this one, it says embodying your playful inner child, potential blocks, and then another exercise. Okay, so the reclaim your body, the body is a safe home, accepting your body, healing trauma in the body, slow down and listen, potential blocks. And an exercise. Oh my gosh, this is this is going to be an amazing deck for healing work. Holy cow. Okay, experience the journey. Healing takes time. Respect the journey of others. Embrace where life takes you. Potential blocks, exercise. Like there are multiple pages. This one even has shadow work over here. Growth, transformation, shadow work, simplify your healing. Update your identity, potential blocks, exercise. And it, it it's... It's got that for every card, it looks like. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? Let's just pick a card. Let's just shuffle and pick a card. And then I want to read the full write-up on, on one of the cards. Just to, just to kind of see. You know, I'm very curious. I'm very, very curious. Okay, so we're just going to give it a little shuffle, shuffle. A little shuffle here. And I adore the backs, how it looks like kind of like marbling. And it looks like, kind of like an eye, but then also kind of like the moon phases. I like it. All right. One more time. All right. So we're just going to pick a random card. All right. So we have awareness. So that's air, 
awareness is 178. Okay. Okay, so the number system, it appears that why there were so many numbers of the same one is because it's like a system. So the earth suit is like one through 10, water one through 10, yeah. And then cosmos has 12. Okay, anyway, what page did I say, 170 something? 173, I think, wasn't it? Here we go. All right, 178. Awareness. All right, so this is the card. Gorgeous. Okay, why awareness? Awareness is one of the most important aspects of our healing journey. If we don't understand ourselves and see things as they truly are, instead of just through our limited view, we will forever be stuck in the same cycles and patterns. Our mind creates beliefs and delusions for us to live in to keep us safe. It gains beliefs about the world and ourselves from our upbringing and life experiences. And in order to keep us safe, it puts up blocks to keep us from going in unsafe directions. Most people aren't aware of the box they live in or the ways in which they behave to stay safe. Most of it is unconscious. The mind is doing its best to keep us safe. Unfortunately, it ends up sabotaging us from the life that we really want, which is usually beyond our set comfort zone. Awareness is key because it allows us to see beyond our safety box and out into the perspective of others and beyond that into a wider view of source. Becoming fully aware of who we are what we believe and the patterns we fall into gives us the key to breaking free from our boxes. Levels of awareness. All right. There are multiple levels of awareness. There is a basic understanding of a belief or pattern you have, which many people notice about themselves. But deeper than that is the awareness of the full picture with clarity and understanding of how the pieces fit together, where we are still holding on and what we need in order to process and let go. This awareness can continue to deepen over time, long after we think we must surely understand everything about ourselves. New levels arise and we become aware of more. Building awareness takes time and some layers will not make themselves known until the time is right. Work with what is coming up instead of always digging for more. Your system is intelligent and will work and will keep some things buried until you are ready to look at them. Trying to become aware of and heal everything quickly is actually very hard on the nervous system. We aren't meant to process everything at once. And then it tells you to see water, feel emotions. So you can reference another card in the deck for that if you want more info. A great way to build awareness is to pause and practice self-inquiry. See air, pause. When we pause, we create space between ourselves and whatever is coming up. And in that space, we can build awareness. See exercise for self-inquiry practices. And lastly, this card asks you if there is something you need to build more awareness around. Do you need to widen your view to a better understand a belief or situation? See air perspective. Okay, and then we have potential blocks. All right. So it says one block is the temptation to fix people around you. With awareness comes responsibility. Once you start to wake up, you can't simply go back to sleep and you start to become aware of patterns other people have as well. However, it is not your job to judge anyone else on their journey or to push unsolicited advice. See Earth, honor the journey. If you think you are superior to someone else because of how awake you are, then you are still asleep. Notice how you may be using your awareness to call out people around you. Where is this desire coming from? Is it a compassionate place that wants to connect with them? Or is it a desire to show how much you know? Pause before you jump in. Another potential block is self-reflecting to the point that you are hyper aware of all of your shortcomings and past pains. You may struggle to see the light because of all the pain and blocks you are now aware of. If this is you, take a step back instead of digging for more things that need improving. Remember that you are doing better than you think. If you have a lot of pain coming up, see the feel emotions, cleanse and release and earth grounding cards. If you are stuck in a cycle of hyper awareness of all your shortcomings, pause and ask trusted friends for feedback on your behaviors. They can help you determine what you might want to work on and what you can let go of. And here's the exercise. 
for this card. All right, self-inquiry is a powerful tool that can help you become more aware of your beliefs and patterns, where they come from, and how to release them. However, keep in mind that it is a good it is good to stay grounded when working with our inner world, especially if we have strong triggers. They will try to suck us away as soon as we poke them. The idea with self-inquiry is to gently ask ourselves questions that open doorways to the subconscious and give us access to deeper parts of ourselves. If we are badgering ourselves with questions and relentlessly digging to find the root cause, it can lead to overthinking, overanalyzing, and disassociation. dissociation. Ask yourself questions to better understand yourself and your experience and mindfully listen for a deeper answer to arise instead of trying to problem solve. So when you find yourself coming up against a belief or block, pause and check in with your system. Connect with your body and immerse in how she feels. See air, pause, earth, reclaim your body and earth grounding and start to invite in some questions. How are some broad questions that cover, here are some broad questions that cover a variety of situations. What am I feeling right now? Is this belief true or helpful? Have I felt this before? What is my system telling me? What do I need in order to feel safe? Where am I holding on? Am I ready to let go? Is there another way I can look at this? What is this emotion telling me? If I completely accepted myself, how would I act? And then I like it because it gives you not just uh, the photographer, which I believe is the creator of this deck, um, but it gives you the IG of the model in the pictures. And I believe it does it. Yeah, it does it pretty much for every card, I believe. Yeah, I love that. Okay, so I love this. I love this. This is going to be one of my favorites, I can already tell, for healing work. Um, and for when I need to be grounded again, because I mean, elemental empath, um, as somebody who is empathic, it, it's extremely difficult for me <laughs> sometimes to regulate my emotions because other people's emotions affect me. <laughs> okay. And sometimes it's a little difficult for me to separate that. Um, so I think that this will help me with that in that aspect well as well. But I also think this deck is wonderful for healing um, and getting to know yourself in general. You know, I think you don't necessarily have to relate to being an empath to be able to benefit from this deck. I think this deck is amazing. I, I love this. I am so glad. <laughs> I am so glad I backed this. Oh my gosh. I'm so excited to use it. I can already think of several decks that would be good to pair it with. However, it is so informative and there's so much going on with each card that you can dig into. I feel like this would be good as a standalone deck, um, like a one card pull. And then you just kind of sit with that card and then you, you really take in and meditate on what it's telling you in here and maybe answer the questions and do the exercises for it. I mean, this is just fabulous. I can't even express enough how fabulous I think this deck is. I love it to pieces. You're probably going to see this a lot on my channel because <laughs> um, it's probably going to be showing up quite often. Um, I, I'm ecstatic about it. I'm ecstatic. And I love the box. The box is lovely. Very nice put that little meditation card in there. I love this. I love this. Um, if I can find the link to where you can get this, if it's available yet, I know that it's um, being sent to all the backers, but I'm, I'm sure she probably has a place where other people can pick it up also. So if I can find that, I will link it in the description box below. Um, please like this video if you enjoyed it and uh, leave me a comment down below. Let me know, did you back this or is this your first time hearing of this deck? What do you think of it? Uh, I like the feedback. Let's start a conversation about it because I feel like this is the kind of deck where we could really talk about it, you know? Um, it's one of those like deep diving kind of decks. There's just so much that you can do with it, I think. Um, 
Also, if you know anyone that enjoys tarot and oracle content in general, please share my video with them. And if you haven't already, click the subscribe button down below, hit the little notification bell so you know when I post new videos. And as always, thanks for watching. Thank you.